Hi everyone, I'm Karan and welcome to Karan's Gyan. The stock on focus for today is Vodafone Idea. Well, because Vodafone Idea released its quarter four results today, and to all those retail investors who ha- who have their money stuck in Vodafone Idea, it's an indication for you to exit Vodafone Idea as soon as possible. Vodafone Idea has posted a massive loss of eleven thousand six hundred and forty three crores. and this is not a good signal it's time to exit from vodafone idea it is a sinking boat and it will sink your money along with it so discussing quarter on quarter results and year on year results let us see quarter on quarter results the net sales of vodafone idea have increased from the last quarter so quarter on quarter results is discussing um, the results of this quarter to last quarter that means quarter 4 to quarter 3 So uh, as you can see in December 2019 the net sales were about 11089 crores and this quarter the net sales is about 11750 crores about 6% increase their earnings before tax depreciation and amortization this is what ebitda stands for earnings before income tax depreciation and amortization they have increased by about 28% a good sign However, if you see the interest and financing costs, the interest and financing costs have also increased by seventeen percent. And if you see their interest and financing costs are as much as their earnings, and this is a bad sign. In fact, if you see in December two thousand nineteen, the interest and financing costs were in fact higher than their earnings. And if you look at this in the long run. the company is not viable and you need to understand this vodafone with its shrinking subscriber base with high financing charges high interest charges and dues that it has to pay to uh, you know department of telecommunications these are all red flags for you the red flags are saying they're screaming stay away from vodafone idea and don't burn your fingers and your money by investing in this share in fact you won't be investing in this share at all you would be betting on this share and instead go to a casino where you can bet the same amount of money and in you will have more fun than you will have fun betting on vodafone idea i been telling this time and time again invest in quality fund quality quality stocks that have a good fund that have good fundamentals and in and the company should be in an industry that is not suffering a downturn that should have a future that company should have a future and i don't see any future for vodafone idea so uh, coming to quarter on quarter results the net loss has increased by about 80% last quarter the loss was about 6438 crores and this lo- this quarter the loss is of about 11643 crores Eleven thousand six hundred and forty-three crores. I I challenge you to tell me the number of digits in this uh, figure, and if you come up with this, the number of digits, you know, like try to see how many digits there are in this number. Uh, net sales, year-on-year sales. If I see, I see that the net sales are pretty much stagnant. In fact, if I compare the sales in March twenty twenty. to march 2019 so exact quarter the last year i see there has been a decrease in change i mean there has been there has been a decrease in the sales a decrease of about 0.18% this shows that the company is not growing you should be looking for companies that are growing and vodafone idea doesn't seem to grow however if i see the earnings before tax depreciation and amortization they have increased by about 150% this is a good sign i won't i wouldn't deny i wouldn't say that this is a bad sign and based on this i would say that vodafone is doing well but it's the interest and financing costs that overshadow its earnings and earnings margin you look at earnings and the earnings margin earnings have increased by 150% earnings before income tax depreciation and amortization they have increased by about 40% the margin has also improved the earnings margin has also improved by about 150% from 15.5% to 
to 37.27 percent that is drastically improved but if you see the interest and financing costs they have gone from 2819 crores to 4010 crores which is a very very bad signal comparing its net profit slash loss you know in fact i would you know remove profit because i have not seen profit in uh, word of an idea for a long time i see that in March 2019, Vodafone Idea had a loss of 4,881 crores, and now it has a loss that is more than double of that, about 140 percent more than the the than the loss in March 2019. It is about 11,643 crores, which is a extremely bad signal. In one year, its loss has almost doubled. So there is no growth in this company. Please stay away from this company. G giving you the key takeaways, I'll get into the fundamentals of the company. It posted a loss of 11,643 crores. Uh, and this loss is for the seventh successive time. So in the past two years, in each year there are four quarters. So in two years there are eight quarters. So in the past eight quarters in the past two years it gave a loss in seven of those quarters it has a seventh successive three a three period loss you know the, and this loss is because of loss of subscribers high finance costs i gave you showed you the numbers of high finance costs and one time charge related to its statute statute uh, statutory dues mainly because of its asia dues that that it has to pay to uh, the telecom ministry the department of telecom so talking about its numbers the the average revenue per user has increased from 109 rupees to 121 rupees so in december 2019 the average revenue per user was about 109 rupees but now in this quarter in march 2020 quarter the average revenue per user is rupees 121 which is which is a good sign however you need to see something look at the subscriber base so i would say revenue of a telecom company would would be equal to its revenue per user average revenue per user into number of users so if i see the subscriber base it has fallen from 304 million subscribers to 291 million subscribers so look at this the net sales basically uh, it had about december 2019 had about 109 rupee average revenue per user and about uh, 304 million users 304 million users and 109 revenue from every user in march 2020 the number of average users are 291 and the revenue has increased to 1 to 1 rupees from every user that's why you see the six percent increase it's only because of uh, you know uh, the tariff hikes that vodafone idea has had and because of which the average revenue per user has increased it's mainly because of this just to give an information and a comparison of vodafone idea to its peers bharti airtel has 283.7 million subscribers which is lesser than 291 million subscribers of Vodafone uh, and however its ARPU is 154 rupees compared to 1 to 1 rupees of uh, Vodafone idea comparing Vodafone idea to Reliance Geo Reliance Geo has 387.5 million users and an average revenue per user of 130 rupees far higher than Vodafone idea in both average revenue per user and number of subscribers <clears throat> moving on to vodafone idea vodafone idea owes department of telecommunication 46000 crores in license fee spectrum charges interest and penalties 46000 crores as of now it's having a loss of 11643 crores do you think it'll be able to pay back these dues 
I don't think the company would be able to survive another one or two years seeing the loss it is reporting and seeing the dues it has to pay. Uh, the company has only paid about 6,854 crores to this amount. So they still owe about 39,000 crores more. The telecommunication company also warned Supreme Court that uh, the AGR dues would threat its viability unless supreme court tells them to you know give them some leash so what they are asking for is give them a time frame in which they can pay the dues in installments instead of all of it together and i don't think if even this is possible because uh, this Vodafone idea is negotiating on two terms it is negotiating with the supreme court so that it has to pay dues over some 20 period uh, 20 year period of time you know and it is also it is also renegotiating repayment terms with its lenders so it is it has a fight on three folds it has a fight with its subscribers where its subscribers are decreasing rapidly the second fight is with supreme court where it's saying we can't pay this amount of 46,000 crores all at once give us a time frame of 20 years and Supreme Court is yet to give a ruling about this and it is also fighting with the bankers that have lent them the money it is renegotiating repayment terms with lenders so guys this is I this is my summary of Vodafone idea and its quarter four results and to be honest, the reason I make videos about such companies is to warn investors and my viewers that these companies can be bad for your wallet. These companies are burning your hard earned money and you should stay away from them. It doesn't matter if Vodafone idea goes from 10 rupees to 100 rupees in the next year. Alright, that's very unlikely. However, what is likely is the price of Vodafone share going from 10 rupees to 0 rupees. So it's your hard earned money, you are responsible for it and share market is not a game where you gamble on stocks. You want to play a game, you go to casino but don't invest in Vodafone idea, it will burn your money, it will burn your wallet and it will burn your you know um, emotions basically. So guys this is it and I hope you like the video. Have a nice day.